so you know dad was a, a massively heavy smoker through the 50s and 60s and 70s Right. OK. I didn't really know that, but perhaps I would have assumed it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, obviously, it was a, a different time. Um, yeah. People were not aware of the health concerns associated no. with smoking cigarettes. No. Um, Lou Grade was a big cigar smoker. And I think as dad looked up to him, not only did dad smoke 100 cigarettes a day at his wow. peak. Wow. Wow. Which is really chain smoking and beyond. Yes. But he also smoked cigars quite a lot. And I think that was kind of taking after Uncle Lou a bit. So, uh, here's today's smoking-related Jerry Anderson fact. <laughs> today's smoking-related Jerry Anderson Yes, fact. there may be others in the future. <laughs> Empty cigar tubes were often raided from Jerry Anderson's office at the studios and adapted to form sections of some of the miniature spaceship's engines. Yeah, I can absolutely believe that, because hey, I've done the same myself. I remember building a USS Enterprise, and what did I use cigar tubes for? Um, the nacelles, is that what they're yeah. called? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. There you go. I also remember making a Millennium Falcon out of an old polystyrene pizza box. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see? Can't put a lot of glues on polystyrene, though, can you? Like, no. Yoo-hoo and no, all that it dissolves melts. it in a that's fascinating right, and quite cool way. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, anyway, there you go. So, um, if you've spotted some of Jerry Anderson's cigar tubes in any Jerry Anderson show, <laughs> then do send us an email and a screen grab to podcast at yes. jerryhanderson.co.uk and we'll, uh, we'll post them on Twitter next time.